You are looking at a handful of the 24 daily record highs we had across the nation yesterday. A Hawaii mentioned Kahului, 92 degrees. Seattle, Portland barely missed all-time record highs, but hit record high temperatures for the month of June. In some locations, if you didn't get the all-time record high yesterday, you will likely get it today. Heat wave continues. All of Washington State excessive heat warning continues today. Most of Oregon, portions of Montana, Idaho, Nevada, Northern California, protect yourself from the heat. The numbers you see here, I'm forecasting all-time record highs. If you lived in the Northwest your entire life, you have never felt uh, heat like this before. 104 in Seattle, 112 in Portland, Salt Lake City, 91, Boise near 98 degrees. Things like leaving your kiddo and four-legged pet friends unattended in the backseat of the car. Don't do it, not even for a minute. Grab air conditioning when you can. A lot of heat is going to be out there still for the western United States with a significant and potentially life-threatening heat wave. In the south central United States, flooding or flash flooding concerns. A couple or a few inches plus of rain from areas of southeast New Mexico cutting through the panhandle. Central Oklahoma, southeast Kansas with a very slow-moving front. And some isolated severe weather can't be ruled out today from Detroit to South Bend. Reported record rain in South Bend yesterday. St. Louis into areas of northeast Oklahoma. Isolated damaging winds will be possible with the storms out there. So with that front, basically stationary at this point, stationary to a very slow-moving cold front. Slow-moving fronts is bad news. Basically means, uh, means areas of rain fall over similar areas, which is why we're also watching for that flooding and flash flooding threat in areas of the Great Plains and South Central United States. The eastern third of the nation is relatively quiet today. Overnight tonight, something that can't go unnoticed as well, um, near record warm lows in areas of the Pacific Northwest.